this evening. Good evening. If you join us on a cold, wet, uh, miserable February evening, the rain is blowing against the windows nearly all afternoon. But it's not too cold. It's uh, reasonably warm, I suppose, even though we've got all the windows open in the church, as we do have to have at this time to keep the air circulating for, uh, against COVID. One of the safest places in the world, I think, is in the church at this time. We're very strict about our, our spacing and our sanitization, and that's a good thing. We come at the end of the day to praise God, to look back on the day and say thank you for the good things that have happened. We tend always to concentrate on the bad things and the negative things. But there are many blessings that he sh our dear Lord showers on us like raindrops and they ping off and we don't notice half the time. It's that uh, old adage, is, is the glass half full or half empty? We need to be on the positive side and that way we can maintain our happiness, if you like, our joy, our cheerfulness. Not all times are cheerful, of course. In this pandemic, many people are dying, many people are suffering, and even more people are isolated by the restrictions on travel. But for those who are joining us, uh, who are alone in their homes and have been for some time, um, you're very welcome, and uh, thank you for joining me here. I'm all alone in here, but I'm very fortunate not to live alone. I live with the other two priests. Um, that's their penance and, and my joy. Um, but it's very glad to welcome you all, whether you're alone or not, this evening. And I know people are joining us from all around the, uh, the country, all around the world sometimes. Uh, it's good that we are all here in prayer, and that's the main thing. Spiritually, we are united, united by Wi-Fi and things like that, but very much by spirit. So we come together to pray to God, to give thanks to him, to say sorry for our sins, and to look forward and ask for him to bless us in the future. And during this evening, as usual, during the intercession of Vespers, I will be reading your prayers out and lighting candles um, at the request of you that you've sent in today, and some of them from yesterday. So we start our office this evening with the Angelus, the message that God was about to enter the world in human form. For that, we thank him. We thank him because he, through that, through the death and resurrection of his son, he has brought salvation to us. The saving of our souls, that's what salvation means. Being able to enter into that place where he is after we have died. And we're already linked to him in this world because he sent his Holy Spirit among us. So let us start with the Angelus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel may by his passion and cross be brought to the glories of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And we're using the hymn from the Breviary, uh, and also it's common in the Universalis. Blessed are the pure in heart. O oh God, come to our aid. 
O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see our God. The secret of the Lord is theirs, their soul is Christ's abode. The Lord who left the heavens, our life and peace to bring, to dwell in lowliness with men, their pattern and their king. Still to the lowly soul he doth himself impart, and for his dwelling and his throne chooseth the pure in heart. Lord, we thy presence seek, may ours this blessing be, give us a pure and lowly heart, a temple fit for thee. The Lord is my love and my refuge. In him I place my trust. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my arms for battle, who prepares my hands for war. He is my love, my fortress. He is my stronghold, my savior, my shield, my place of refuge. He brings peoples under my rule. Lord, what is man that you care for him? Mortal man, that you keep him in mind. Man who is merely a breath, whose life fades like a shadow. Lower your heavens and come down. Touch the mountains, wreathe them in smoke. Flash your lightnings, rout the foe. Shoot your arrows and put them to flight. Reach down from heaven and save me. Draw me out from the mighty waters, from the hands of alien foes whose mouths are filled with lies, whose hands are raised in perjury. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord is my love and my refuge. In him I place my trust. Blessed the people whose God is the Lord. To you, O God, will I sing a new song. I will play on the ten-stringed harp. To you who give kings their victory, who set David your servant free. You set him free from the evil sword. You rescued him from alien foes, whose mouths were filled with lies, whose hands were raised in perjury. Let our sons then flourish like saplings, grown tall and strong from their youth, our daughters graceful as columns, adorned as though for a palace. Let our barns be filled to overflowing with crops of every kind, our sheep increasing by thousands, myriads of sheep in our fields, our cattle heavy with young. No ruined wall, no exile, no sound of weeping in our streets, Happy the people with such blessings. Happy the people whose God is the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed the people whose God is the Lord. Victory and empire have now been won by our God. We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty, who are and who were, that you have taken your great power and begun to reign. The nations raged, but your wrath came, and the time for the dead to be judged, for rewarding your servants, the prophets and saints, 
and those who fear your name, both small and great. Now the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ have come. For the accuser of our brethren has been thrown down, who accuses them day and night before our God. And they have conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. For they love not their lives even unto death. Rejoice then, O heaven, and you that dwell therein. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Victory and empire have now been won by our God. From the letter to the Colossians. You must, of course, continue faithful on a sure and firm foundation and not allow yourselves to be shaken from the hopes you gained when you heard the gospel, which has been preached to everybody in the world. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. We repeat, the Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord has satisfied and filled with good things those who hunger for justice. My soul glorifies the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness, Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me, holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud-hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord has satisfied and filled with good things those who hungered for justice. The light shines out in the darkness, and the darkness cannot overcome it. Let us thank our Lord for bringing his light to our lives. Lord Jesus, you are our light. Word of God, you have brought the light of eternity to the darkened world. May it open the minds and hearts of all the children of the church. Lord Jesus, you are our light. Show your care for all who dedicate their lives to the service of others. May your grace inspire their actions and sustain them to the end. Lord Jesus, you are our light. Lord, you healed the paralytic and forgave his sins. 
pardon all our guilt and heal the wounds of our sins. Lord Jesus, you are our light. People follow the light to new knowledge and discovery. May they use your gifts to serve the whole human family and so give glory to you. Lord Jesus, you are our light. Lead the dead from darkness into your own wonderful light. In your mercy, show them the radiance of your glory. Lord Jesus, you are our light. This evening, we pray for the prisoners of Her Majesty's prisons in Coldingley and Send, which this parish serves, and for the prison officers. For Father Brian sheltering at home from the virus. For the good health and a job for Caroline Pierreira. And Lynn offers prayers of thanks for those that have been answered for the sick. And praying for the sick, for Suzanne and Bernard, who have been tested positive for COVID. A request for the healing of Pina. And Grace asks for prayers for Denise, suffering from COVID in intensive care in Belfast, for the past six days. For Ada in hospital in Athens, suffering from cancer. And Karen asked for prayers for Pauline, very ill in hospital at this time. Now prayers are asked for the healing of Alice Howard very unwell in hospital with COVID, and also for her family. And also we pray for Sheila, who had heart surgery today. We continue to pray for Helen Osborne, Donny Coleman, Douglas Coleman, Richard Asfor, Pedro and Tony, Jenny, John, Caroline, and Nadia's mother. And we pray for all those who continue to be affected by the coronavirus each day, and especially those who are experiencing bereavement at this time. For those who have died, we pray for the soul of Mary, who died yesterday, after several years of illness. And Paul Tennant in Glasgow asks us for prayers for the soul of Gerard Tennant, who died 10 years ago yesterday. Remembering the soul of John Mumtaz on the anniversary of his death, which falls at this time. For Abdul and for Dina and the family. And from Catherine Hughes, she asks us to pray for the soul of Veronica Thompson, who died recently from COVID. We continue to pray for the soul of Malcolm Ward, whose funeral takes place next week. Abdul Nanis of this parish, whose funeral was held earlier this week. And we continue to pray for Father Martin Jacobus, who was assistant priest in this parish many years ago. For Margaret McCabe. For Spignikviev Mokriksky. 
for Maureen Henley, for Mary O'Connor. And we continue to pray for all the recently deceased and their families, commending them each to God for forgiveness and for healing. Let us pray now as our Saviour Christ taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Listen favourably to our evening prayer, Lord, and grant that as we follow your Son's example, we may by perseverance yield a harvest of good works. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. And now we have our Decade of the Rosary following the blessing. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Tonight, as it is Thursday, we pray the luminous mysteries, but just one of them. And what I've ch chosen tonight is the, um, the proclamation of the kingdom. Jesus announced the, the closeness of the kingdom of God, that we ought to repent because it's at hand. He went about calling us to conversion. Our sins have led us away from God, and that is a very foolish, not just a wicked thing, because we cannot find happiness apart from God, just as a sick person cannot have healing unless they admit their frailty and go to a doctor. So we cannot be forgiven without acknowledging our sins. Remember he said, I came to call sinners to forgiveness, not the righteous. And so during our meditation in this next uh, decade of the proclamation of the kingdom, We ask our Blessed Lady to help us to realize the closeness of the kingdom of God as she prays for us through her Son to our Heavenly Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of your mercy. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Dolcedo, et spes nostra salve. A te clamamos, exules filii ebe, a te suspiramos, gementes et flentes, in hac lacrimarum vale. Ea ego, advocata nostra, illos tuos misericordes oculos, ad nos converte. Et Jesum, benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis, Post hoc exilium ostende. O clemens, O pia, O dulcis, Virgo Maria. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. 